Hey, welcome back to the shop. I'm James. This is Charlie Mike Woodworks and Design. And today, on another episode of Let's Make Stuff Up, we are going to make Mrs. Charlie Mike the square cake stand that she has been wanting for a very long time. I've never made one, so this is going to be fun. I've also done a little bit of searching, and there are like no videos, literally, of anybody making a square cake stand. So this is going to be the standard. Fairly simple. It's all walnut. It's a little over an inch thick, 12 by 12. And the middle support is going to have a tapered effect, okay? So we're going to have fun with this. Come along and join me, and let's see what trouble we can get into. And let's Charlie Mike. And as always, stay safe, stay alive. We want to do this again tomorrow. Of course, using the little miter saw here, cutting up some walnut, and like I said earlier, everything's going to be in walnut because that's what Mrs. Charlie Mike wants, and Mrs. Charlie Mike gets what Mrs. Charlie Mike wants. Then we take it to the table saw, and we're going to just trim up the edges just a little bit. And after we're trimming up the sides, we're going to do some more trimming of the sides so this table saw is going to be placed into my workbench uh, we're gonna be doing that very very soon that's gonna be a very fun project and I'll make sure that I uh, tape all that and you can see how interesting that turns out then we get to do a little sanding on the sides to make sure that we can get a good face for both of these boards and we can glue them up properly. And we're going to take our block of walnut that's going to end up being the pedestal. We're going to do a little bandsaw action. And here you see the jig that I made where I can actually create a taper on the sides of the pedestal. The pedestal is actually four pieces, uh, two of them glued together and then the other, the two bigger pieces glued together. And uh, of course made that jig uh, using uh, you know, a little bit of cutoffs and using a little bit too much glue here for that, but that's okay. One of the good things about woodworking is you have to come up with solutions sometimes to a to a problem. Uh, this one was I had to figure out how to clamp everything together. So I put the parts that I cut off uh, back on temporarily essentially and made it into a block. It's a lot easier to clamp. Again using the awesome bandsaw that awesome Mrs. Charlie Mike got me. And so I had a little bit of separation there uh, of the pieces for the pedestal. So old trick is to add a little glue, let it dry about four or five minutes, turn your sandpaper disc the, a little bit uh, either way, and that doesn't allow the dust to actually be sucked up into the sander, but the dust is able to, at that point, cover the seam. Did a little routing. Now we're cutting down the top of the cake stand uh, towards 11 and a quarter uh, all the way around. Next time I'm probably going to make it a little bit bigger like 13 by 13. And cutting the base down uh, ended up being 6 inches by 6 inches and then I put that and the top through the planer so I didn't have to do it by hand. So I found the center of the top and did the same for the bottom and marked it out uh, for the pedestal to be uh, attached. And then I took the router and I took a chisel and I went to town. And this took me a lot longer than I thought. But in the end, you'll see here in a minute, it came out looking pretty good. And if you hear that music, you know we're getting close to the end. So I took a little bit of glue, my homemade mallet, and pounded that sucker, the pedestal in to the base. Then I turned it upside down and pounded that sucker into the top. And 
it came out looking pretty good. Took my level and made sure that each corner was level. Woo -woo! Add a little bit of cutting board oil. I seem to go to that just about for everything, but you know what? It looks good, it always works. Thank you very much. Truly appreciate it. Please like, share, subscribe. That way we can help as many people as we can that suffer from PTSD and depression. Thank you again. Truly, truly appreciate it. Charlie Mike.